Uh, leo tuko na session ya forex trading a uh, FX pesa through IV and the team wame come uh, watatu take through na watatu elezea what uh, everything in a husiana na yo trading so IV welcome sana na team yako uh, without fa further ado nita hand over kwa IV I introduce team yake na wa take over mkofi mwendele kulan na karibuni sana siko mebueka hivyo habari zenu so uh, we are back again wangapi walikuwa hapa last time the first time we came wangapi walikuwa hapa okay okay so au wengine okay nice to meet you so today tumekuja hapa kusoma about forex and i've come with my team na nilikuwa nasoma a certain article na hii article ilikuwa inasema since 2017 there's only been 1% of rich people in the planet you know the type of rich any ukipoa that money you'll never have to work another life another like you'll never have to work another day in your life that kind of rich kama rich kama nani Elon akina nani Yeye amesema yeye. Anyway, so after 2017 there's been another reading. E reading inasema there's been an increase of up to 2% of rich people in the planet. That means tem ilikuwa 1%, ilikuwa 99 gap for anyone who wants to be rich adjust your space. Right now there's 98% of anyone who wants to be rich adjust your space. Anyway, so I came with my team. I have we have Philip, Philip's mama. Philip is a mentor in Alpha Tudia Academy and he's also a full-time forex trader. You can have a seat. We also have Kevin. Kevin is from FX Pesa. <coughs> we partner with him via FX Pesa. Nice to have you Kevin. We also have Benja, Benja's mama. Benja is a forex beginner ndo ameanza forex and he's uh, under Alpha Tudi FX Academy. So wangapi hapa wamekuja today for the first time? Don't share we know mkono. Nice to have you today. So Benja will be going round taking in your details so that we can you you guys can become part of our community ni sawa. Ndo tukiwa na gathering kama hii you'll be the first one to know. Sio ni poa. Yeah so Benjo will go around. So in the group tulikuwa tumesema you guys need download MT5. I hope you have MT5. Wangapi wako na MT5? Okay, so I want to walk you through MT5 on your phone. Kama hauna you can download it very quickly. Okay. And mm. around like one hour. Okay. MT5 looks something like this. Nitwa meta trader 5. Inaka kitu kai hii, uki open. Wangapi wako na hii MT5? It's really important to kwe nayo cuz I'll be walking you through how to use MT5. You know the way uh, kama we ni graphic designer, we zianza tu ku design na how do how to use the tool itself. So for you to start trading you have to know how to use these tools. So there are two main tools we use in Forex. Ya kwanza it's on your phone, MetaTrader 5. Ya pili it's on your laptop, tradingview.com. So apart tuko na access ya monitors you guys can use the monitors. But on your phone you need this. I'm stalling do you guys mkwame download. You can't use it on your laptop, you can just use it on your phone. 
Okay, front row, nani yako 95. Okay, so Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So MT5 ukishafungua this is what you see. Na for you to trade forex, unafaa kujua the pairs you will be trading. Can I get a pen? So for you to trade forex, unafaa kujua the pairs you should be trading. And uh, wangapi hapa washai jaribu forex? Just like a by the way, chani one forex in a kaje. Wangapi? You guys. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Nice. There's a guy who texted me. I need to Simon. Who is Simon? Nice. When you trade, uh, so kwa MT5. Nice. Okay, so I want to walk you through three types of pairs. Then you'll be coming across as a forex trader. So there are three types of pairs utapatana nazo as a forex trader. Kuna pairs zinaitwa major pairs. Kuna cross pairs. Na kuna exotic. Exotic pairs. Simon, since ni wetu najua. Okay, so ni pair at an example of a major pair. Euro USD exactly. So there's a reason I correct. It's because e pair iko tied na the US dollar. So ukiwai on a ukifungwa MT5 yako, uangalie pairs ziko hapo. Ukiona pia yote iko na Ukiona pia yote iko tied na the US dollar that's a major pair. Sawa? Hadi hapo tuko sawa guys. I hope mna download MT5 on the process ndo uele how to use it. The other thing ni cross pairs. So enye hauoni US dollar kwa hiyo pair that's a cross pair. For example, mwenye ako na MT5. Uya linaambia ako na MT5. Niambia po pia enye haina US dollar tied to it. Ama mwenye anajua. Yeah. Anyone? Unaangalia tu kwa chat, kwa the list. Uki scroll unaona list. So we have like Yuran bora haina US dollar it's a cross pair. So e personally I don't trade but it's part of common knowledge in forex ujuange kuna kitu kama exotic pairs. So majorly we trade the major pairs and the cross pairs. So I wanna walk you through kama unataka ku add pairs to your list. Unaweza fungua MT5 for the first time and iko na kuna pair unataka ku trade high. So how do you add it to the list? So ukifungua MT5, we also call it MT5. Ukifungua MT5, kuna plus sign. Mnaona the plus sign, just click on the plus sign. Then kama kwa list yako you want to add a pair. Let's say pair kama gani? Pair kama gani? Kwa MT5. <laughs> okay, pair kama gold. A lot of people trade gold. Gold inaka inaandikwa hivi. 
So if you want to add this pair to the list, una type hapo, ikitoke, you just tap on it. That's how you add pairs. Deleting is also easy. Una finger the pen, the pen icon, the delete icon, then una delete pen ya hautaki on the list. Adi hapo tukosawa guys. Tunapatana, tumepoteana, tunailewa. Okay. So the next thing is charts. And this is the main, main part of having MT5 on your phone. Ukiwa na hii, kama hii meplace wa trade. Ukiwa na hii, uh, ukiwa like, let's say you want to trade gold. You just tap on gold in a open chart ya gold. Mnaona? Mna follow on your phone. This is something you can do after Shamaliza today. So ukifinya hapa, here is where you'll be able to place your trade. Hapa hivi. So hapa juu kiangalia, kuna kitu inaka clock, inaka something like this. Hapa juu kabisa. If you tap on it, that is how you place a trade. But for you to place a trade, lazima ujue how to analyze. And for you to analyze, lazima uko unajua how to use tradingview.com. Aya. The next thing we can see um So hapa ndo tutakuwa tuna major on for today. Kama uko na MT5 maybe you'll have the pleasure of placing a trade. One like what's the process that goes through ndio u place a trade on your MT5. So I hope me download I hope kuna kitu me learn from it at least uh Ukienda home uneza fanya some practice on your MT5. You can open a demo when you kwa group. Ongapi wako kwa group? Forex kwa uni group. Okay. Okay so nita adio in the group. Nita tuma link kwa group ya Mr. Ngure. Yeah. So una join to the group alafu. Every day we learn one thing about Forex. It may not be much, but is those small things those in add up for you to know how to trade forex and how to become a full time or maybe a part time forex trader. So size in a checker to walk you through MT5 no tradingview.com. So I wanna walk you through tradingview.com unezafungwa kwa monitors. You just type tradingview.com forward slash charts mine is a bit different ni me change colors peke so uh, maybe in as a edit zifanane zenu Okay, you should be seeing something that looks like this. What we left said, Nona, Apa, the guy in goggles. Okay, so this is tradingview.com, and I just want to walk you through it. We talk about Kitumia a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Apa. And I'll really go basic since I'm assuming that you guys, nini forex beginners, namna aspire to become like traders. So I wanna walk you through this. Ukieza pia fanya kwa screen yako, ndio uweze ku understand maybe later on. Kama uko na lapi yako the better. So hapo kiangalia, ini ni zilandian. Ukitaka ku change pairs, here is where you click on the pairs you want to trade. So Pena julikana sana ni gold. We'll check on gold. You just type it in a token. You tap on it. So this is gold. When you make a trade gold, same one you make trade gold so far. Tell me a news. Okay. So ini chat ya gold. Na hapo kiangalia hapa juu. These are the time frames. Uki click hapa. I hope unezafanya kwa screen yako uangalie. 
ukiklika hapa unaona different time frames so kuna from the biggest time frame kuna di ranges sije tumia range kuna 12 months kuna one day 4 hours 45 minutes 30 seconds up to 1 second so what this means is unaona the way in a month one month has uh, let's say 31 days inside that day kuna 24 hours inside an hour kuna seconds hizo ndo zinaitwa time frames okay hope mnafanya you guys doing it kind practical peer at least leo talk you may learn something from from this session so apa kuna different time frames so time frame si wangalia sana ni one day unaweza put a star on it ndo zijitokeze hapa juu so kuna kuna one month one month pia ni very important it's a big time frame higher time frame kuna one week one day four hours one hour sometimes use the 45 minutes you just add it zinatokea hapa juu then the other thing it's the type of charts there are different charts muske watu wakisema they use hekin ashi a lot of things but candles ni hizi zenye unaona hapa na kuna line chart so line chart pia husaidia when you click on the line chart you can be able to see easy viz philip will go will take you through ukiona hivi what does it mean na ukiona hivi na ka hivi what does it mean it's very important okay aya next ni indicators what to mean indicators uh, you guys can come a bit more knowledgeable in forex maybe i can walk you through creating an alert as a forex trader i use alert sometimes there is also the replay button sasa kama the strategy philip will teach you today ukitaka kwenda ku, ku back test ukiwa home you can use the replay button if you tap on the replay button you can be able to cut you can be able to cut pairs like you can be able to cut easy candlesticks ndo weze ku back test a little bit when you go home one kama strategy yetu you understood and it made sense to you okay so i'll walk you through tools then after this uh, i can maybe show you the formation of a candlestick alafu tuite philip akuje aendelea with the with the session so up and the place unafaa kuwa very keen hizo zingine was just by the way for you to know but apa these are the tools that we use when we come to analyzing how is it trade how do you analyze and i don't recommend trading on your phone just sit on a laptop analyze place your trade kwa phone maybe philip will go through placing a trade after amesha onyesha ku analyze a pair so ukiwa hapa juu kuna cross e cross ni nyunone ki move across the screen the reason i love the cross inaitwa cross here tell me kama tunataka kuangalia this candle ukiekelea hiyo cross here on this candle hapa you can be able to see that the date this is tuesday date 9 january 2024 and on this axis unaona the price so ukiangalia hapa hii ni price kuna time gold ilikuwa all the way up to hapa this is like 1970 na sasa hizi ko 2028 after the new silly propel um imepanda kiasi sasa kwa hapa tu 2006 so ukiangalia hii side na tikanga uangalie ukiona tu hii side just jua hii side ni price price of this pair kwenye imefika sasa hizi kama on this dotted line this is the current price ya gold ukiangalia on this axis i guess this is the x i don't know inaonyesha na the month and the day plus ukiekelea cross here you can check on the time okay the next thing ni trend line trend line see to me when we are marking trends kama ushaipitia forex for a while umeona umesikia bullish trend the bearish trend so trend line helps you mark the trend line of a particular pair na venye inaenda sasa hizo so trend line kumbuka kuweka star ukiweka star 
the reason to make us turn is just na appear hapa. So ikiwa hapa it's really easy for you to access. Ju ato kifungua another pair, itakuwa hapa and you'll be able to access all the tools see to me when we are trading forex. The other thing is the horizontal ray. Just put a star on it. Let me kwanza tuzipange hapo juu then I walk you through one by one when you use it me. Guys, okay? Aye. So the other thing up we have uh, the gun box. Gun box nitaonyesha how to use it in a minute. Remember to add it to star ndo itoke pale juu. Uh this is uh This is So, ingine inaonyesha na the long position and the short position. So, ukibuy when you're buying when you're buying a particular pair, like tsemo me analyze gold, you want to buy gold. You know the reason you to me a forex it's because kama kama usha travel ukaenda to another country ama maybe usha ifika border. Sijui kama Tanzania they swap the currencies. Lakini tsemo if you're flying and going to another country ama forex bureau hizi za hapa Nairobi hapa tao ukiona na Kenyan shilling unataka US dollar they'll, they'll exchange it for you hiyo ni forex but that's a yo, that's really physical lozishinanga in their offices so having trading view and having trading forex ndio nakusaidia to do all that without having to go kwa nini kwa bureau so ukitaka ku buy gold you will be using the long position tool ukitaka ku sell you will be using the short position tool so what you do is you add them to star ndo zitokea pale juu uh what else i don't think kuna nyinyi meacha yeah adi hapo nani yako na swali nani amehang mahali nani yako na kitu hapo ijatokea aha uh -huh. wapi long position kui add ama kui add okay Una click here ni imeandikwa and inaka hivi on the side of the tradingview.com meona when you click on it it opens so you just add to star long position na short position fanya hivyo ndo si hang kuna mali alikuwa ameinua mkono mhm mm so lingine add sin a hand hapo nyuma mwenye me hang trading view template meona so lingine mtu asiache nyuma before we start doing the fun part of trading another question about trading view trading view okay tumesema ukiwa na trading view on your laptop uh, long position na short position okay kwanza nataka watu waike tools then nionyeshe how to use them Munania me hang kwa tool nyingine. Tool gani yako haiapia? Haiapia. Kuna hii. Is it really important? Ni meka hii juu nitawafunza nayo. Gani hapa yako ijatokea? Okay, I'm assuming mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so okay aya yeah. click hapa hapa yeah click the arrow aya trend line now um, what else what else trend line na horizontal ray this one yeah aya exit click any hapa gani ingine able this one the third one yeah click uh, apart to me that one you don't able to dogo oh the gun box gun box okay nice exit click anywhere this one okay ushani so click on the arrow up candle 
long position, short position. We don't have a rectangle. So join a rectangle, kiasi to. Okay. Uki click hapa kuna yes jonyesha uki click yenye na ka brush. Just star the rectangle ukitaka unaweka arrow pia. The rectangle and the arrow. I guess that dia potuko sawa. So on your list unafaa kuwa na trend line, e line, trend line, the rectangle, horizontal ray, gun box, long position, short position and the arrow and the cross cross will always appear lakini you can remove it in the settings but me napenda cross so we keep the cross adi hapo before we start using the tools at, you should have at least one two three four five six six tools on your list kama uko na less just say it to confirm ni gani tuanze Ati, is it okay? Ebu jaribu kupin moja. Kama eh ebu finya po. Aya, long position. Eka star uko misho. The star. Yeah, short position pia. Ivo. Aha, exit. Kifinya tu enu in the screen ina exit. Mhm. Finya. Okay. Ni rudi ni walk through. Okay. For the last time, for the sake of when you are jayeka, tuanze hapa juu kabisa. When you click aka ka arrow hapa kando, kuna cross. You add it to favorite. Ukiekelea hivi juu hiyo star inatokea, you just tap on the star. Twende next. Next ni trend line tools. Una star the trend line na horizontal ray okay next thing uh, gun box tunafuata tu list gun box mshaeka aya the next one tutaruka hii hapa this one we don't use so he hapa ndo iko na long position na short position just add it to favorites by clicking the star ukihova you just click on this star on the side in a tokea. Apo kwa brush, in in a brush, we add the arrow and the rectangle. Mme eka. Nania me hang. We are here for you guys. You feel ashamed. This is a forex environment. Any question at the Okay. So, I to sawa. So I wanna walk you through. Um, so I want to walk you through what you are looking at, Harper. So if you can check, kuna candles za red, kuna candles za green. Na kuna this white thing. Kila kitu enyu unangalia po, it's very, very important in Forex. So, I wanna walk you through kwanza the formation of a candle. It's very important to know before to anzisa saku to me. And nikikwambia mark up to the high, unajua high ni wapi. Nikikwambia mark up to the low, unajua low ni wapi. So, candlestick inakaa hivi. And there are only two types of candlesticks. Ukiingia Google, utapatana na very many unnecessary terms zenye zi utumika kunem candles. 
but the only candlesticks we have one it's a bullish if you have a notebook on Zandika, Siju kama you guys know na Kenya nafanya. And the other thing is called the bearish. So tukisema when you're selling go short. Unajua ni bearish. So bearish means selling and it also means going short. Bullish is the opposite of bearish. Hizi ni vitu unafaa kujua. Bullish inamaanisha buying. And it also means going long. It's just the opposite of bearish. Kama unaandika notes ama you have a sharp memory unaweza store. Okay. So let me draw it hapa kando. So we'll start with the bullish. Tumesema bullish is also called Kevin the copy prices. Tulisema bullish bullish ni buying or going or going long. Kwa list yako pale unafaa kuwa na kitu inaitwa unafaa kuwa na kitu inaitwa long position tool because tukisema we are buying this pair utakuwa unatumia the long position tool to mark your pair so starting with the bullish candlestick ukiona hii week hapa na hapa so utu, let me just say to meet it ukiona hizi hizi zinaitwa weeks weeks hizi miti but hapa juu inaitwa high high of the day hapa chini itaitwaje exactly low of the day hiyo ni, ni poa kujua juu nikikwambia chukua gun box yako mark it from the high to the low of the day kama unajua formation ya candlestick you'll mark from hapa juu kwa week to hapa chini so tukiangalia practically let's zoom a candle hapa I do forex full time so I take it very seriously ukitaka um okay so we can check on this green candle peke yake candle I take you lingine ukizoea kuangalia the forex charts utaona utajuanga tu like ukiona unajua that's a bullish candlestick okay so a bullish candle when it's forming u open hapa chini hapa ndio u open here candle ukiangalia candle ikiform uanza kuform ikipanda juu so it opens from hapa ndio opening hapa ndio close hadi hapo tuko sawa ina open from hapa chini ina close hapa juu i think i should rub hapa zani mna we use here everyone i may understand the formation of a bullish candle so we go to a bearish Bearish is the opposite of this lakini zote ziufanana Candles ukiangalia candle nike mark zote zikwe green you won't know juu candles zote ziufanana So ukiona hapa this is the body in all scenarios hadi hapa this is the body Hapa juu tulisema inaitwaje high of the day msisahau hii part na hapa chini low of the day so kama bullish ina open hapa bearish ina open hii hapa juu nina close hapa chini so bearish candles mostly utaonanga zina form zikienda ngao huko chini zina form zikienda huko chini bullish candles zi form zikienda huko juu so kama ukiangalia this one is a 
this is a bullish this is a bearish ukiangalia bullish bullish zi form zikienda juu another bullish on top of another bullish zinaenda juu ukiangalia bearish ziuende hivi chini it's because selling sellers wanataka kuangusha bei wanataka kuangusha bei and if you're selling you want to make sure una use expensive kuna analogy si utumia when it comes to training people in forex you also train people in forex ukitaka kuwa like a pro or if you want to take it seriously we are we ha we are under Alpha Tauri Academy it's a forex academy and you train individuals when you aspire to be forex traders so after a meeting you feel like i really need to learn wangapi hapa ni module 3s module 3s okay nice module 1 kuna module 1 mm nice so regardless of kwenye uko uh ukitaka uki feel like i really need to learn this nielewe ni kwa profitable ni kwa na make do yangu nikiongea na watu like right now I'm in a trade I'm making some money hapo so you can learn forex it frees up your day i promise it frees up your day ukiamka okay, analyze you place trade go ahead and do whatever you want okay so tulikuwa tumefika wapi so i want to show you uh sg philip if it's important no nyeshi how to add indicators so so indicators is a gap between a candle and a candle na nataka m follow very seriously hapa cuz indicators i use indicators a lot do this idea when i want to place my entry so tap on hapa indicators mtu asiachwe nyuma tap hapa indicators hapa juu apa i want you to search imbalance 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 finder mtu asiachwe nyuma hapa tafadhali it's a long process kind of so imbalance finder hadi hapo tuko poa imbalance finder angalia hapa traveling underscore tra 1740 uchagua ingine make sure ni hii traveling tra 1740 hadi hapo just click on it unaweza add pia star uki hover stars zinatokea just add it make sure to add it kwa star add it to favorites ndio itokea mali tutaweza kuiona hadi hapo tuko sawa nani ameachwa nyuma sawa uki add it to favorites inatokea hapa chini ya hii pair chini ya hii jina ya hii pair chini ya hiyo jina hiyo pair naiona hapa inafaa kutokea hapa kama ume add it to favorites wangapi wako nayo wangapi wako nao guys changamke tuanze kufanya vitu zinatusaidia hapa haraka wangapi wamefika hadi hapa you can see this one wenye wenye ile mkono umeachwa nyuma ama uko nayo haya tuanze tena hapa kwenye kumeandiko indicators tap on indicators search for imbalance finder just type the entire word imbalance finder imbalance finder chagwe ni imeandikwa traveling tra 1740 that is what we'll be using traveling tra 1740 add it to favorites by clicking on the on the castor po kando ndo itokee hapa me manage okay traveling tia rendo hii umi add it to favorites imedio kwa favorites ebu exit ebu mm. 
ہے تو کیا ہوا تھی ukianza kuwa pro when it comes to forex you'll be paying for trading view it's just like 14 dollars peke yake login kwa gmail haraka haraka it's just your gmail your password twendele wangapi wameka gmail nice nice tumalize haraka haraka watu i don't want to leave anyone behind we came here because of you guys i'm here just to serve you ukiwa na question maybe at the end of this session tutauliza some q and a's uliza hizo swali zenu tukana kuuliza someone who does forex haya wangapi wamemaliza we continue na ngoja wenye hawajamalizia okay so umenembe umeka gmail umeweza kuweka imbalance finder imekataa ukiklik on it inasemaje hapana e, ama hiyo ni feature ya kulipia trading view mtu ulipia so eh shaeka okay ni feature ya kulipia okay ni sawa a a ni kani feature ya kulipia Philip ndio tumei balance find lazima ukome lipia trading view. Ah, ni free. Na mboni inakata. Jua je sign in kwa Gmail. Okay, wale wame sign in. Hebu tutengana na leo. Mkiendelea, there's something just uh, by the way I want to walk you through. As we wait for the other people who are aka imbalance finder 
imbalance wind actually si must to tumie but as a beginner trader i recommend you have it ukianza kufanya forex sana utaanza kuona nga hizo gaps without having to use imbalance finder Nani asha ikoniwa? Nani asha itokwado? <laughs> Nani asha lose pesa akitaka? Nani asha ana pesa yake kimezwa? Avieta watu avieta. <laughs> Sasa forex you can see your money draining. Unaweka 20 dollars. I'm just saying like by the way. Unaweka 20 dollars in a minute ishaenda Unaweka 100 dollars hauna uko nao lakini hauna So when you're learning forex ni poa ku learn kitu naitwa risk management The one best thing you can do for yourself as a forex trader it's learning it's learning something called capital preservation Capital preservation. Okay, to assume comrades. Okay, to random. Simon, ukianzanga forex like how much did you deposit? The very first time. $10. Ulikuwa na wakaje na $10. $2 per trade. No liko na trade ngapi in a day? 2. Okay. So, hilo ilikuwa risk management ya Simon. Ali deposit $10. $10 ni kama ya sizi ko 1390. Same 1390. Sasa hiyo it's an equivalent of $10. Kila siku same in one particular day you squa make a make a do and a risk 2 dollars per trade na aneka only two trades so ina maanisha hiyo siku kama analyze vizuri ako most likely ku lose 4 dollars nani a shade trade na less than 10 dollars ka 5 dollars nani a shade ka 5 <laughs> Uli trade aje na 5 dollars. Ya? Scalping. Uli make do. <laughs> okay, personally I recommend kwa serious about forex. Ona forex kama biashara. Mimi naona biashara mingi zenye wase uanza, at least uanza na kitu ka tanki. Tanki, tanki ni how much in dollars? mtu ni dividee Tenke ni how much in dollars divide na 138 Mathematisha naona anafanya hivi na kichwa Ni how much tenke divide by 138 mtu anafanyia haraka haraka 70 70 72 dollars I think ningeanza hii session ikisema forex is a business forex ni biashara I used to be a software engineer that was my business nilacha software engineering nikaanza kufanya forex I chose another type of business it's just a business it's a business to need bills so ukiona 72 dollars kwa hiyo yote unafaa ku risk 2%. Fanya 72 times 2%. Ni how much? Ukiandika it's very important. E risk management is one of the things ukijoin Alfaturi Academy tunakufunza. 
one of the very very beginner things in you know could you before starting forex so 72 times 2 percent ni how much haraka haraka how much was say 72 times 2 percent fanya na calc how much nifanyie 72 times 2 percent 14 is equal 14 1.4 aya so risk and you talk una fanya ni 1.4 dollars trade yoyote ni unaeka haifai kupita 1.4 dollars trade yoyote aha nianze tena forex ni biz sindio aya capital tumesema uneka tenke that's equivalent of 72 dollars hadi hapo tuko poa risk yoyote unafaa kufanya kama uko na below tuseme 1000 dollars ukiwa na 1000 dollars unaweza ongezea risk but kama uko na less than 1000 dollars like 72 dollars risk yako inafaa kwa 2% per trade 72 times 2 percent nifanyie 72 times 2 percent ni how much aya so risk yako per trade kila trade utawai analyze kwa trading view weke hiyo trade kwa mt5 risk yako utakuwa unaona lazima ikuwe 1.4 dollars sawa sasa kuna kitu inaitwa sequential probabilities kuna siku mimi uingia market hiyo siku na oga na oga na oga alafu kuna siku naingia i make money so kuna kitu inaitwa sequential probabilities so ukichukua okay ila kufanya fifty trades mm. so i want to show them mm -hmm. ile uh, the way you divide the lafu unapata total ni 50 trades uh, capital mm -hmm. times 2% times uh, so capital is 2% mm. unapata ngapi 1.4 1.4 sasa ni 10000 divided 1.4 oh mm. ebu nifanyie 72 dollars au oh, ni huyu Seventy two divide by one point four. Seventy two divide by one point one point four. Okay, so. so connect to sequential probabilities. The markets are unknown. Adi kama se uza viat, wajungi o sikuata uza. Na kuna siku anenda anauza a lot. It's the same with forex because tulianza by saying forex is a business. Acha niandike hapa ndo kila statement nasema unakumbuka. So, tumesema capital yako ni 72 dollars. Risk yako ni 2% per trade. Na kenyo na risk kwa kila trade ni 1.4 dollars. So connect to it sequential probabilities. Is in siku zenye una trade. Kuna siku na win, kuna siku na lose. Kuna siku na win, kuna siku na lose. Strategy mtafunzwa na Philip, in strategy it's 50% correct. You can even say 40. But let's say it's 50% correct. So it means it's also 50% wrong. Juforex Forex ujuangi what will happen. You can have all the right facts and you still lose. Because Forex is unknown. It's an unknown market. So umekamu na capital yako ya $72. Na umeona kila siku una risk $1.4 kwa kila trade. Ebu divide. Tuwane how many trades you'll be taking.
72 dollars divide 72 divide by 1.4 ni ngapi 51 51 trades so ukifollow a sequence unafaa ku end up na 51 trades by the end of 51 trades unafaa kujua did i make money or did i lose sawa semo no shake funded so kuna kitu huitwa funding kama how afford do za ku trade but pia funding you still buy the funded account but sasa uzuri ya kubai funded account ni you'll be trading huge amounts of money like uh, $10,000, $25,000. Unaweza calculate one $25,000 ni how much? In Kenyan shilling. Hebu mtu afanye hiyo $25,000 in Kenyan shilling times 138. Ni how much? $25,000 times 130. How much? Times 138. How much? Hmm? 25,000. 3? 3.4 million. You'll be trading 3.4 million, but it's in Kenya shilling. 3.4 million. So having a funded kitu tu na kupea advantage ni trading a big account. Uone tem utakuwa tycoon maybe kata kufungukia mahali. Unaweza venye unaweza kuki ani na particular day. Ukiona account ya 3.4 million, let's say the least you can make in a day. Just on average you can make up to 200k. 400k ikiwa poa unaweza make 500,000 it's good thinking about big numbers by the way kama dream yako ni kuomoka si usema kutoka kwa block kama unadai story kama hizo 3.4 million start thinking about big numbers in as much as maybe size you call confined hawezi fika ebay lakini start ukianza tena hiyo 20 dollars yako 30 dollars yako be thinking about unaweza fungua pia demo account when you are group tulituma hiyo link ya demo unafungua demo account alafu uki place trade yako kwa account yako ya 20 dollars una place the same trade kwa account ya demo with a big lot size unaona like nikipata hizi done zafanyia nini cause kuna one thing we usually say kama uko na a small account na hiyo account yako ina make 5 dollars in a day si hiyo same brain inafanyia It's the same mind your same hands in a place your trade sindio ukiwa na a bigger account is the same thing but sasa ina maanisha will be utakuwa unapata a lot of a lot of money from that trade we usually say in forex ukiwa na a bigger account na maanisha you have a big net a big net is able to scoop a lot of fish that's the same idea so uko na 51 trades tumesema strategy yetu ni 50% wrong Mtoki kwambia ke ni 80% yetu ni 50% wrong. So, hizi ndo masiku tuna trade forex. Tumesema strategy yetu ni 50% right. Okay. So, this is from 0 to 51. So, for you to become a profitable trader regardless of the size of account you have. Tumesema you are risking 1.4 in your risk at your summer reward kuna kitu huitwa reward you see to ku risk we also want to make money so we have something called the risk to reward ratio rrr and our rrr ni 1 is to 3 it's a ratio 1 is to 3 so if we are risking acha niandike hapa juu okay Sisi we are learning something called R R R. Risk yetu per trade ni 1.4 dollars. Reward yetu itakuwa 1.4 times 3. <coughs> so R R R yetu ni 1 is to 3. Indo risk indo reward. So 1.4 times 3. Quick math. 
how much? 4.2. 4.2. So in as much as you are risking 1.4 dollars kwa kila trade. Your trade yako ikivana unapata 4.2 dollars. 4.2 dollars ni how much in Kenyan shilling times uh, 138? Ni how much? 5 579 Indo do me rip out of one trade and I don't expect you okay, one trade two trades three trades you do the math so in the risk to radiation ratio yetu so 0 to 51 sasa tuko hapa sequential probabilities how to know if you're a profitable trader at the end of a sequence trading lazima kuwa strategic about it Tumesema we'll be taking 51 trades. Mnakumbuka how we got 51 trades? Capital yako divide by the risk. Tukapata 51 trades. So from 0 to 51 trades. Half ya 51 you can say it's 25. So unafaa kuchukua 51 trades. 25 of your trades zikuwe wrong. Uunguze. 25 of your trades upate the 4.2 dollars. No corner 51 trades 25 so we'll start like this tumesema nini yetu ni 50% right 50% wrong so tunachukua 51 trades okay the 50 divide by 2 that's 25 trades let's say, let's use 25 25 kwa kila trade sisi tuna calculate zenye utaunguza uliaka 72 dollars Tunataka kwa note of 72 dollars how much you will reap at the end of a sequence 25 times 1.4 Mnajua mbona tunafanya 25 times 1.4 So 25 times 1.4 ni how much How much 35 So inside you lose inside you win 35 dollars Na tumesema ma reward yetu ni 4.2 25 times 4.2 ni how much 105 so side yako ya win uko na 105 dollars 105 minus 35 tuone profit yako 70 70 dollars indo profit yako na bado uko na capital yako 70 plus 72 142 dollars. 142 dollars ni how much? Times 138. 142 times 138. 19? 596. Na ulianza na 10k. From 10k to 19, 596. Uzuri ya forex, haina clients. Usi expect that you oh, I sell shoes, I need clients. Forex, you don't need clients. Forex, you don't need a boss. Mina Seranga Forex ni freestyle. You can do Forex and come to school. You can do like Simon. He's part of you guys and he does Forex. There's also another guy. Alinembe no FX Pesa. Skumbuki Jinaake. We met the other time I was here. So, Forex, you can do it at your free time. Unamka Subui, you place a trade, you go about your day. So I think I'll be able to kopoa. In case you have any question, questions, I'll take questions. Then I invite Philip. Questions, guys. Questions. Una thaningi ni weird coolies about forex. Maybe una feel ni stupid. They're not stupid. It's forex. How much? Okay. Minimum amount. Brokers you to me are FX pesa. FX Pesa, the minimum amount you can deposit in your account is five dollars. Five dollars. But at least to Kianzo sends in a five dollars, okay. Five dollars how is it? Najua when it comes to Forex, you are risking to get a reward. Sometimes you risk you lose. Sometimes you risk you get the reward times three times. So Ukianza like placing a trade. I'm a one more question for Forex. And that and a twenty dollars, thirty dollars. Do to okay. No no do to me e risk management si funzana. 
you should have at least a bigger account at least a hundred dollars and above lakini kama uko na like twenty dollars you may find account i'm uko na live account how many of us have live accounts live account anyone hakuna na demos nani yako na demo nice when you kwa group tulituma hizo vitu we need so this is person x ameamua let me try forex aka deposit 20 dollars 20 dollars venye mimi ningefanya ni venye semo nalifanya unaamua how much am i willing forex is willingness how much are you willing and in forex unafaa kuwa comfortable losing Actually tunambi wangu you should love losing you embrace losing because you learn from all your losses What we say is unalipia kujua like mbona nili lose nimelipa nikajua mbona nili lose So this is person X ame deposit $20 Kwa $20 what you can do siku moja just place like two trades siku moja kwa hizi two trades kwa kila trade unaza risk ata three dollars per trade so easy in case you lose utakuwa ume lose six dollars but in case you win itakuwa uh, three dollars per trade that's three times three eighteen is it eighteen kweli trade moja you lose three but you win nine nine times two ni eighteen So reward yako itakuwa 18 in case you hit your risk to reward but risk yako itakuwa $6. Okay hadi hapo. Okay nice. So I'll invite Philip our funze one two three things about placing a trade and everything. Welcome Philip. Funze a mathematical strategy. Uh, called premium and discounted levels so uh, before you i want us to do a simple exercise called a breathing exercise as a trader utakona jipata uh, while engaging in the markets utakona pata kuna vitu kama fear unaona woga uje woga when something is at risk so the simple breathing exercise i want you to do is uh, right now start by breathing Take in a deep breath of air. Usione kani ujinga tunafanya hapa mbele. Take in a deep breath of air. Acha kuniangalia hivyo breathe. Exactly. Breathe uh, nataka mfanye four breaths ama five. You breathe in, then you start. Breathe in. Then let go. Una breathe out, sawa? So. Breathe in. Then breathe out. At least it afanya mslale kwa hii session also. So I'll start by introducing some few things. Candlesticks. Hizi ni nini mnaobserve hapa? Hizi zinaitwa candlesticks. Eh uh, Unaona hii side? Haya. Uh, keep track of time ikifika after 10 minutes uniambia So candlesticks kuna aina mbili za candlesticks but ukiona online utaona kuna different types of candlesticks tutapata zizi kuna dojis bullish haramis engulfings but hizo sitaki uandike kwa notebook yako that is all irrelevant to what I'll teach you So I only teach two types of candlesticks there are only two types of candlesticks Easy zenye unaona hapa zinaitwa candlesticks. Amekufunza ku operate trading view. I don't teach these. Nataka kufunza sasa how to predict this market. So candlestick ya kwanza ninafunza hapa inaitwa This is a bullish candlestick. Bullish candlestick. Now, this is a green. Candlestick zote zinafanana hapa chini this is an open price open price sawa so, hapa ni closing closing price hapo chini naitwa low 
of the day low of the day hapa ni closing price oh sorry high of the day high of the day so now tuingie kwa example mbio mbio uh, the guy mwenye kona shati hapo hapa ni hapa simama usiogope nataka mtu asimama akijibu hii swali hii inaitwa aje opening price exactly hapa hapo juu hapa chini exactly eh nani nani random 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 okay you here eh uh, ini nini hapa opening price hapa chini hapa juu na hapo juu kabisa ako kamti high of the day exactly so hizo candles za green zote zinafanana unaona any green candle una observe hii 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 ama hii opening closing high low you understand candles ya buys hakuna shida hapo now the other type of candle seek that exist is a bearish candle seek the difference between these two ni closing price pekee hapo closing price so ina open hapa open price ina close hapa closing price sawa so, now the guy at the extreme end pale nyuma ile computer iko pale mwisho stand up aya hapa hapa juu hapa ndio hii answer hapa ndio hii mwa Kenya hapo ndio hii sani pe answer hapa juu high of the day no nope. high of the day zinafanana high change high of the day ni constant high of the day is co constant kwa candles zote hizi candles zote unaona hapo high 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 umeona side ya chini ni low 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 zote zinafanana sawa the only difference between this green candle and this red candle ni opening price ya selling ni hapa juu closing yake ni hapa tumesema candles na ina mbili kuna za buyers na za sellers za buyers wana open chini hapa wana close eh nani mambe niambia time uni alert sawa opening price hapa closing price hapo sawa this is the law of the day na hapa ni haya hapa juu haraka haraka hapa 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 hapo canon 6 na mbi na umeona ni very simple si ndio haya now i want to teach you something i call premium and discounted levels uskose kitu ya understand ina tendeka hapa sawa now this is uh, a strategy but it's not everything it's just a simple strategy kuna vitu vingine mingi nafaa kukufunza but i'll teach you this one this one first sawa so discount so nataka no, kwenda kubai mercedes benz eh uh, hii mercedes ina price hiyo 20000 Wewe unataka kuibai 20000 dollars ama 18500 ama 16500 same same model maybe maybe AMG uh, AMG auto maybe whatever sijui gani so unataka kuibai price gani the guy in the white unataka ku eh? 18500 18500 yes that's correct another person mwenye kona glasses wewe 18 try 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 bana try jibu nyingine haya wewe 16500 mbona nani nani ameenda hapa gekomba hapa hivi na hapa hivi ukienda gekomba si unaweza taka negotiate wewe mtu anaweza kuja unaweza maybe kubai nguo akwambie akwambie 
akwambie dao ama 15 lakini wajue kitu ni ya 3 so so hiyo unataka kupewa discount unaona pia in, in these markets is the same thing you want to be given a discounted pricing before you buy before you buy uh, it's either you buy or sell it's either you, you do two things either you buy or you sell to make money now when you want to to make money it's either you buy or you sell Aya. but if unataka ku buy unataka ku buy at a discount now how do you identify the discounted prices so now pay attention this is the most important part hapa sa hizi kwa kin have a small notebook hata kama utaandika nyuma ya cover yako wherever you have kuandika hii note sawa angalia how do you find a discounted pricing now assume structure ina kana namna hii structure ina kana namna hii unaona from this law ndakuanisha ku identify these structures so from this law mpaka hapo this is midpoint 50% I hope you pay attention juu usiwaste time yako saa hizi na usiwaste time yangu 50% So hapa tunaweza andika 0 hapa 100% Haya If you want to buy pay attention hapa look Hapa ni same color candles hizi ni same color candles Easy Same color candles same color candles na maanisha aje kama greens eh acha nianzie na hawa kama hizi greens sawa same color candle ndio hizi hapo same color candle greens umeziona these originating move hapa ni a different color candle kala gani hiyo hii red sawa hii red hapa nayo ni yenye iko hii move hapa hapo ni hiyo red Now how do you mark the discount? Tunataka kumesha from the swing low. Hapo Sonio amekufunza kuhusu this tool called the gun box. Gun box yako ikuje ikiwa customized. Nataka kusaidia kucustomize gun box very quick. Gun box yako itakuja ikikaa hivi. Eh iko customized. Angalia. Nime tap gun box nikaitora hapa. So go to settings. Kuja hapa utantik oxizib mtu utantik easy time levels unaona time levels antik all of them antik all the time levels utabakia na 0 0.5 and 1 then press okay hivyo sawa 0 0.5 and 1 hiyo ndio gun box so i'll go real up quick cuz uh, we don't have time to find examples mingi za discounts So yesterday I took a trade on Bitcoin. Hapo unaweza trade bado cryptocurrencies. So yesterday I took a trade on Bitcoin. Now let me show you uh, the reason I took the trade. Based on premium and discounted levels. So so ile model nataka tufanye examples ka tano. Trenda crypto nimekuja hapa. Pairs nika cut nikaenda crypto. Bitcoin against the tetheras kuna watu nimeona wakifungua chart ya ya gold against USDT what is USDT nani yako naanza USDT uh, usiogope kujibu USDT mwenye anajua jibu ya USDT na mpe 50 bob what is a USDT saa hizi sema tetheras what is it what is tetheras na usi google tafadhali usikoe muizi uh, what is tetheras Eh? Gun box. Sawa, acha nirudia. Gun box nimesema hivi. In your gun box yako, si ndio hiyo hivyo? Uta tap on it hapa kwa settings. Umefika hapo? Then price levels uta antique easy, utakuja itaka acha ngonesha vile itakuja ikikaa, itakuja ikikaa hivi. Gun box yako itakuja ikikaa hivi. Gun box zote zinakuja zikikaa hivi. Sawa? Sasa tunataka ku customize. Ikuwe very simple. Una tap on it then ofinya hii setting. Hapo anti all of these. 
hizi ni irrelevant to what we want to explain then finya okay gun box inakaa namna hiyo sawa so gun box ni utatumia hapa sinaona hii kitu nimemaka hapa from here low 50% 100 ni gun box sawa yes time 10 minutes haya now uh, tumesoma kuhusu gun box nilikuwa na uzee USDT nani ajua kuhusu USDT hakuna uh, i raise the stakes 100 shillings nani ajua kuhusu USDT nani udai kujibama na hiyo so sawa hakuna mtu anajua so USDT is the is the you uh, it's it's a it's a it's a cryptocurrency that is pe- it's, it derives its value from the US dollar so ukisikia US dollar ni 138 PSDT in a derive the same exact value from the US dollar so it's a stable coin so ukienda kubai cryptocurrencies in crypto wallets kama Binance maybe OKX BitSmart whatever crypto wallet tutatumia utakuwa una trade una buy USDT then we as convert your USDT into a certain crypto you want so haya now let's jump into discount level so tufanye discount level example kama mbili mbio mbio haya tufungue bitcoin cut and that's at your bitcoin hapa crypto so stagui hi bitcoin against the US dollar na chagua hii tetheras so bitcoin against USDT tap on it now yesterday i was analyzing this move e niko na analyze it up irudi juu so what i'll do is i'll eliminate that kernel even observe kitu hapa every time frame every 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 kernel every um is it is it time frame so Hizi hapa juni time frames inamaanisha every candlestick inachukua one day to form. Ukipress daily. Daily means every individual candlestick inachukua one day to form. Hii siku yote, sawa? So, 4 hours inamaanisha every candlestick will, will take 4 hours to form. Kila candlestick moja. So uh, yeah, you. How many candlesticks za 4 hours zina make daily candle? If every candlestick na chukua 4 hours. How many candlesticks za 4 hours zina make up the daily candle? If the daily candle ni 24 hours. 6 candles. Now you, how many uh, 15 minutes candles zina make the daily candle? Usiogope kufanya hesabu, si lazima useme haraka. Take just take your time. Utanjibu baadaye. But now kwa 45 minutes na maanisha every candle stick na chukua 45 minutes to form sawa 4 hours na maanisha every candle stick na chukua 4 hours to form daily every candle stick kama ile chukua one day to form sawa now with this with that knowledge nataka sasa tulete hii model this is a buy model na kwa hii buy model nitafunzana model type mbili za buying only two model types i'll teach you to buy from an institutional order block and to buy from a double week rejections na institutional order block yako hii imbalance fine amnisaidia kuweka hapa ndio unakuja ku apply we only use one indicator the imbalance finder to locate fair value gaps sawa so hapa so, e candle seek acha tuifungue tuione in a different time frame acha tuione na one hour time frame ndio hizi sasa Uh, angalia hapa nataka angalia hapa this is price ni time against price ama time, price against time this is time clock zenyu zitakuja zikiwa hivi utc plus 3 ujue kenya is 3 hours ahead of universal coordinated time sawa so, so uta change utc plus 3 utatapa hapa uweke nairobi very simple hapa check tap hapo utafute Nairobi UTC plus 3 hivyo ili clock yako ikue into the current timeline enye wewe uko saa hizi sawa usianze kutumia vitu za maybe London na kuta maybe wako behind kiasi now nataka angalie model pay, pay attention ita kusaidia ili time nataka ku trade 
hata kuplay trade yako ya kwanza unaweza kumbuka hii model sawa so, how many color candles unaona hapa si ni same color mnaziona haya same color candles ziko hapa the first originating candle ni ya red hii red finalizing ni hii red so nita mark from this low mpaka hii high mbona na mark hivyo because anytime i want to buy i want to buy from a discounted area current price ya bitcoin ni 72 hii 72 72 uh, 78 tunaweza sema hivyo si ndio mnaiona 72078 now from this low mpaka hii high I will use my gun box to look for a discounted area. So I'll take my gun box from that low mpaka hiyo high hapo. Midpoint 50% ni wapi? Hapo. Now, nilikuwa nasema ile analogy ya Mercedes. Wewe unataka kubaye gari kiwa hapa 72000 Heri ungoje ikuje wapi? Kwa discounted area yako. Eh uh, I was explaining akasema you in trading you usually also lose. Unaona tuseme for example any business you start tuseme umeanza kuuza laptops electronics no not laptops tuseme uko na cyber. Kama umeweka cyber eh unafaa kulipia wifi si ndio? Ni una ji supply wifi? No. Maybe you have a worker there. Ni una ji supply hiyo haka? No, it's a guy you will hire. So every business usually experience, in experience expenses. Now also the forex business has expenses. But now you learn how to manage the expenses. Those are the losses that you'll encounter. So using this by model type, how do you find your first entry? Hapa hivi. This originating structure E, the first bearish move, yo. That's your bullish order block. Ama your demand structure. Translate Tuzaita your demand ama your bullish order block hiyo. Now look. Nikiwasha imbalance finder. Unaona hii structure imeshikana na imbalance. So by model type 1, you buy from ana from a, an institutional order block. Sawa? So, so anticipate prices za Bitcoin zi drop mpaka hapa zirudi juu. Sawa? So, The second model type inakuwaga a double look rejections inakuwaga mahali hapa. So hapa hatuna double look rejections. Hapa hatuna double look rejections. When you have a double look rejection I'll show you in a few. So this is your first model type. You are buying at a discount. So to anticipate prices zi drop, zikutap, zirudi, zirudi juu. How do you use this tool? In a long position. The long position unaichukua. Una place at your, your structure hapo a stop loss slightly below up or even then on a target even so you can do your risk to reward ratio to a 1 is to 6 ama 1 is to 3 so for bitcoin i was looking to buy from this point irudi juu so you need to predict how do you need to tendeka lakini nataka ku predict so let's see how it played out So prices zikaanza ku drop. So sasa hizo ni sharp analyze markets and I've placed my trade. So I'm anticipating that prices the uh, play out. Ndio hizo. So the prices are moving. Zikani tap sniper entry na zikarudi juu. I think I'm still in that trade currently. Bado I'm in that trade currently. Bado inaendelea. How umebaki dakika ngapi? Moja. Haya. Nimeonyesha example ya discounted pricing. Sawa. Acha nifanye example 2 then nifanye example mbili then niite uh, a good meeting. Sasa ndafanya example ya for kwa gold on commodities. Haya. Mbio mbio nataka mtu anisaidie ku kufind discount. Na yeye atanisaidia kufind discount hapa. Hey move. 
hii move ndajua je discount ya gold if nataka ku buy gold tulisema same color candles in the middle candle ya kwanza hapo ikuweka red then ya mwisho red only same candles hapo so nani anaweza nisaidie hiyo angalia same color candles unaziona si ndio hizi red inaanzia na red ingine hapa so I'll mark from these lows to these highs ukweli muona na mark hivyo i want i don't want to buy this pair this expense at 2013 heri irudi at discount na discount hii structure ya kwanza tumeita who has the answer nimeita hii structure nimefunza nika explain nani ajui hiyo answer nimeita hiyo structure hapa aje eh Amkumbuke order block exactly bullish order block bullish ob ndio hii umeona bullish order block so tunatumia gun box from that low hapa chini from hii low mpaka hii high si ndio jua kuna je ubai kitu kio kwa hii expensive price una buy expensive So we will mark our last bearish move before the bullish move plus imbalance. Last me last bearish move before the bullish move ishkane na imbalance. Now you will use your rectangle from this point mpaka hapo. This is your bullish order block. So to anticipate gold if you are going to be buying gold itapo hapa. Irudi Irudi juu. Now let's see how prices play out. Tapped na zikarudi juu. Precise. Umeona? Now that's how we'll be making money. Lazima ujue kitu tunafanya. Juu kama ujue kutafuta premium na discounts, utakuwa una una guess where the premium is and where the discount is. Now let me show you a, a trade on crude oil. Uh, nifanye example ya mwisho ya selling selling mbili then we call it nime nime exit na dakika ngapi 3 3 okay US crude oil haya cha so, tuende daily time frame Nataka observe hii chart. <coughs> Tufanye example mwisho wa bearish. So bearish is just the same thing. So Hapa you have a same color candle na hapa same color. Sawa? So, same color candle but hapa hizi candles ziko hapa nani pia lazima zifanane ziko opposite like zisifanane na hii so kama hapa ni reds hizi ziko greens me understand hivyo very simple amaanisha aje kama hapa hizi ni reds unaziona niko kwa daily time frame premium and discount iko kwa all time frames so angalia hizi niondoe You know your green candle evo angalia green si ndio red si nakumbuka candle si kiko na opening closing high low now this green candle hayake ni hapa juu here green lo yake ni hapa chini so we have same color candles now we we'll use our gun box from these highs mpaka mpaka hapo Remember prices ziko hapa 82 dollars. Ini 82 dollars. Uh, 82.74 dollars. Wewe ukisell, mbona usell cheap hivi? 
hairy to sell expensive from a premium structure now what is the premium structure last time to listen now your last bullish move in it okay your bullish move in it bullish order block now it it was who has an answer bearish because there are only two types of market that exist the bullish market controlled by buyers the bearish market controlled by sellers now for this bullish market in it was the last bullish move before the bearish moves na imeshikana na imbalance so that is a premium pricing you need premium hapo umeona so prices kitapi premium transpet zi zirudi chini unaona kusela hapa ni kusela at 82 dollars but kusela hapa ni kusela at 87 si riata kusela at 87 kama uko na 50000 dollars na una, una buy barrel kadha 50000 dollars divided by uh, 82 si unaona hapo tukome sell kiasi heri usela hapa uzie mtu expensive unaona sell expensive so if prices go back to that premium transpet zitashuka chini from a premium level now unaona hii move yenyewe hii ilirudi juu mbona apply the same concept of discounted levels sawa same color candles ni za color green if una buy unataka kutafuta discounts if una sell unataka kutafuta premiums greens red red sawa now from these lows hapa chini from your low mpaka hapo juu 50% and below ni hapa hii structure ya kwanza iko hapa aka aka tunaweza kaita a demand zone there are two types of ndafaa i think i have to like nafani funze in depth uelewe pia demand zones vile zinakaa so this is a demand structure hii it's a rally based rally type of demand hapo so there are two ta- nilisema kuna model type mbili za za buying za selling pia ni model type mbili either you sell from a supply yenye iko ni 50% or you sell from a bearish order block bearish or b na zishikane zote na imbalance this is the only indicator we use imbalance why 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 are uh, why do we say that we only use imbalance finder as our only indicator the reason is one market inaenda ki create vitu zinaitwa gaps market zote zina create gaps gaps ina maanisha market iko inefficient watu wanaweza negotiate for cheaper or uh, wanaweza for cheaper prices let's say now in this scenario if kuna gap hapa ina maanisha lazima ikuwe balanced any gap that has been left lazima ikuwe balanced now to, to rebalance the gaps price lazima ji rebalance from if inataka ku buy lazima ji rebalance from discounted areas either it is rebalance from a rally based rally type of demand zone ikatapi karudi juu na ikienda juu inaenda ku sell from a premium structure same color candles green green easy zote ziko na imbalance kitap inashuka chini unaona haya hapa tuko na the last bearish move before the bullish move now finalizing acha nimalizie na kitu hapa angalia hii aka ka move kamaenda wapi eh okay tunaweza angalia hii kuna move nimeona hapo hiyo nilikuwa nataka kuonyesha oh this one aka i hope sitaka poteza tena ah nimekaona eh okay So look same color candles premium and discount iko kwa all time frames the daily the weekly the four hours now there is a model i usually teach ya kuweza kuzi understand even better but right now nataka nielezee the model itself and you understand yeah mta customize it's very simple so fanya your size now this is the last bullish move before the bearish move last bullish before bearish moves so i'll mark this candle na nishikanishe na imbalance hivyo so this becomes my short term supply hapo now kuna kitu tunaitaga order flow on order flow 
e move the, the, the distance this move ili toka kutoka hapa mpaka hapa it will move the same exact distance the, the same exact uh, strength so kutoka hapa mpaka hapa it will move the same exact distance so if i play prices lit up ni ka drop only lit up from this structure ka drop kuna mtu ameelewa kitu nimefunza so far mumeona ni same color candles green green pia hapo unaweza zitafuta ona red same color candles na hii red prices zili buy from discount zikarudi juu pia hapa red greens red zili buy kutoka kwa hii discount zikarudi juu sawa so, now uh, what else can i show you guys nimalizia mumeelewa kuhusu premium and discounted levels so now you do practice you do practice you do practice i think hakuna kitu kingine nimebakisha oh there is something i think iko onyeshano hapo hapo unaona hii extreme right unaweza add pairs zenye unataka so these are different pairs i usually look at ukitaka ku trade anything ukisikia tesla nani ajua kuhusu tesla mnajua kuhusu tesla so tesla unaweza tesla is a stock Taka ku trade stocks ziko hapo. Unaweza Tesla, chart za Tesla zinakaaje? Ah, uh, it's a load. So, ini Tesla. Pia Tesla ina gravitate from premium and discounted levels. Vile tumesema. Look. Angalia hii model iko hapo. same color candles reds si ndio green green so si ndio supply zone yako ni kweli haya from your high mpaka hapo hii ndio premium structure yako so if i play prices when spread the top the drop and your price prediction so una predict that's some simple steps based on premium and discounted levels ukiona mt5 yako kwa phone unaweza fanya hizo vitu so i think i'll introduce uh, a guy here hapa aongeleshe pia and i hope you've understood something from that session si ndio uh, karibu ni kutoka simu ngekamba ingeenda kwa hiyo group kuna video itatumwa imbalance finder sawa yeah mta customize it's very